Good morning. This is Sam for the day coming to you from the redeemed presence of God, Central Parish, Abuja. Our Sam for the day is Psalm 130, verses 5 and 6. I read Psalm 130. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thy ears be attentive to, my vo to the voice of my supplication. If thou, Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be fair. I wait for the Lord, my soul doth wait, and in this world do I hope. My soul waited for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquity. As mentioned two days ago, Psalm 130 is an ascent psalm. It's also called a gradual psalm, pilgrim psalm, or psalm of ascent. And Psalm 130 is a call to God in deep sorrow and agony of power. It's a song of repentance by the children of Israel. And it can be seen from the theme that the psalmist was going through some struggles of life with sin being the sheep. He therefore centered the psalm around forgiveness. Today, we are going to be focusing on verses 5 and 6. I wait for the Lord. My soul doth wait, and is what do I hope? My soul waited for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Waiting for the Lord means expecting God to act. We are waiting and we are expecting God to act. When we find ourselves in difficult situations, in faith we should expect God to act and deliver us, especially after we have asked forgiveness of sin. As we hope in him, he will answer us by fire. In the name of Jesus. In Psalm 18, verse 6, the Bible says, In my distress, I call upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. After we have cried, the next thing to do is wait. As we wait, it will come true for us in Jesus' name. We must never be tired of waiting. We must not lose hope while waiting. We must not lose focus while waiting because God makes everything beautiful in his time. In 2 Peter 3.9, the Bible says, The Lord is not slacking concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Brethren, nothing is impossible with God. No matter the situation you are going through, wait on him and everything it's going to be all right. In Isaiah 43, I read from verses 28 to 31. Isaiah 43, verses 28 to 31. The Bible says, As thou not known, as thou know her, that everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the end of the heart, fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching for his understanding. He gives out power to the faint, to them that have no might in Christian strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. For they that wait upon the Lord, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. As you wait, your strength will be renewed in Jesus' name. In fact, I pray this morning that the Lord will cancel every delay in your life and your joy will be full in the name of Jesus. In Ezekiel 12, Ezekiel 12, verse 22, the Bible says, Son of man, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel? Saying the days are prolonged. And every vision faileth. Verse 23 says, Tell them therefore, Thus say the Lord God, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, The days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. Verse 25, For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the law and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall no more prolong. And when you go to verse 20, it says, Therefore say unto them, Thus say the Lord, There shall none of my word be prolonged anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord God. In the secret 36, 36, the Bible says, Then the thing that I learned about you shall I know that I, the Lord, build the room places and plant that that was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken it and I will do it. I decree that every form of delay is canceled in your life today in the name of Jesus. The Lord will decorate your life with his blessings and everyone that sees you a month from now 
we know that the Lord has touched your life for good. This can only be God. That shall be the testimony concerning you in 2022 in the name of Jesus. Very soon, whatever you are waiting for on God will manifest in Jesus' name. What do we do while waiting? That is the question. What do we do while waiting? In Romans 12, 12, the Bible says, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. In Psalm 27, verse 14, the Bible says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. Rejoice because the Lord will fight for you. As mentioned in Exodus 14, 14, the Lord shall fight for you and he shall hold your peace. I decree that the Lord will fight all your battles in the name of Jesus. Finally, we must also remember that for the promise of God to manifest in our life, we must live a holy life. The grace to fear and obey him, God will give to us in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your word today. Father, please, as we wait for you on you, please fight all the battles of our lives and cancel every delay in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.